press that to start. Oh, okay. Learning. Still learning. What's happening, everybody? What's going on? Hope you're well. <laughs> <laughs> We're headed down to the RV show. We are working with Go RV in Canada to show you guys around the Toronto RV show today. And we're really stoked, so come along. Anything to add to that, buddy? Anything else you'd like to add there, William? <laughs> so we're not in our van today because as most of you know by now, we're headed to Central America in two or three weeks. <laughs> I'm so hyped. So we woke up this morning all donde esta and cuanto cuesta and yeah, brushing up on the Spanish that we're not so good. So the van is in the shop getting all pretty and ready to rock. Envelope, it says media. Mm. <laughs> Made it down to the show, you guys, and <laughs> I'm checking out my first Airstream. This one is called Base Camp, so it's just like a little pod. This is the kitchen. You've even got your toilet, shower, living space. It's an Airstream converted sprinter. This is a $200,000 RV, so it's got all the bells and whistles. Awning, a four seater. So you've got the swivel seat, the driver's seat, and you can roll with two passengers. Your kitchen setup is fairly limited, but it seems to work. It's the fridge they're working with. Toilet and shower situation. Probably comes with that TV. Probably has air conditioning. Oh, psych, I said you could have four people. Look at all the bodies you could have. Look at all the seatbelts. Yeah. Do, 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 do. So it's, it's like millennial printer. Wow, look what they did. Yeah. Hey Millennials, you getting some ideas? Mm. <laughs> These things are really cool for like micro camping. I think they're called teardrops. It's a little trailer. You've got a really simple kind of bedroom situation. Couch, TV, air conditioning. And then your kitchen's just hanging out at the back here. I really like these teardrops. There's a few more. Yeah. Do you fit? Just barely. It's <laughs> put in a shower. Holy smoke! Well, privacy for you, babe. Bye, buddy! A toilet with a view? <laughs> Eamon's taking the live tour on a little walk, so uh, I'm coming along. You're hungry. Hungry. This is what happens when we're hungry, you guys. I'm trying to vlog, I can't vlog. <laughs> a little bit of extra communications for the vegans, eh? <laughs> Always. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much. Anyway. Well, hey guys, welcome to my crib. You wanna do it a little tour? This is the vintage cruiser here, it's a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some vintage bedding, <laughs> vintage shelving, <laughs> vintage seating, <laughs> and some for the three pack. Oh, it's very, very cute and very like homey. And very cottage. Got character. Yeah. Totally. We've got a shower in here. Nice. Yeah. Little sink. Oh, it's such a retro little sink. Is it? Let me see. Yeah. Let me see. Like what's in my grandma's house? Those things. Yeah, These yeah, things. yeah, yeah. I hate those. Yeah. Can't stand them. <laughs> this one goes for twenty-five thousand. Did you guys like that one? Yeah. Let's go. So many options. So we found the most similar van to ours. This would be a Sprinter. It's a newer model, but it's the exact same wheelbase. So it's the same size, and this has been professionally converted. So we thought we'd show you guys a little tour of what you get when you spend the big bucks and buy it converted. Right? Well, it's cool because not everyone can convert a van either. Absolutely. So once you open the door, you see right away, you've got kind of a similar setup to us, um, where they put a counter sort of right here. Um, now this is their kitchen space. Dual swivel seats on each side. They put a toilet here. I thought oh, this was going to be a closet. Cool. I little... like that they've elevated the fridge, really easy to access. Yeah. Storage here for your clothes. It comfortably sits. Sits. Couldn't envision myself in here full time just because the kitchen. Yeah. You know, like the kitchen is so limited. You prep stuff, but then you start cooking and you've got your sink open. Like where do you even put your bowl that you're, you're cooking with? This is probably a pull-out closet as well. Maybe not. Do you guys love that we're just giving you a tour? We have no idea. This is our first time <laughs> stepping in here and we're like, let us show you around. Let me show you this. Yeah. I like this. The thing I like most about these is, as you can tell, we like that ours is a stealth camper and this has that feel. Like on the outside, you don't really know that it's an RV. Um, it's small, it can fit into a parking spot and all of those things that we really value in our Sprinter van conversion, I think you would get in something like this. Yo, how much nicer is this bug screen? Oh. The fact that it rolls all the way up. Jealous. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. 
Yeah, that's super cool. I think it's important that when you look at all the options that are out there, you choose one that's realistic to you. So mm -hmm. for us, converting a van was a great way to save money, and we had the tools and the knowledge to be able to do it. If you don't, then you might look at an Airstream, you might look at a trailer, you might look at a self-converted van. Um, but obviously you pay for it. So after an extensive day of checking out the Toronto RV show, I think it's safe to say that there are so many options out here. There are no excuses not to follow your dreams if it's looking for more freedom, more exploration, or just like that weekend warrior Airstream, whatever it might be. We'd love to know what you guys think. Like what was your favorite thing you saw us tour today? And how do you see yourselves implementing exploration and van life and stuff into your lives. I think it's safe to say for us, we're gonna stick to the Sprinter. Yeah. Yeah, for now. For now, but you know, when the little baby comes. Is there a baby in there? Not yet, but, but maybe soon. So we'll have to rethink things. Anyways, guys, we hope you really enjoyed watching us tour. We wanna to say a big thanks to Go RV in Canada and the Toronto RV Show for having us down today and just sharing our experience with you guys. Until next time. Hope you enjoyed the vid, guys. Smash that thumbs up button and goodbye. Okay. Amos' third take on this story. This freezer is bigger than our entire fridge. <laughs> How many takes does that take you, boo? Three. <laughs> Can we go home now? I'm locked in here. Okay, I go home without you. Bye. Bye, buddy. Bye.